This year is the 20th anniversary of the Pokemon franchise. A lot of new, exciting games and shows are upon us. Even bringing back the original red, blue, and yellow versions to the Nintendo 3DS are bringing the newer fans with us oldies. The Pokemon anime series is also showing new trailers for the upcoming season, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Trust me, after seeing the new art style, I am not as excited as I thought I would be. Ash Ketchum is still the main protagonist after all these years. There are 20 seasons and 19 movies following Ash on his journey to become a Pokemon master. I always thought that Ash was growing up alongside me as I was watching the series since the very first episode when it aired. But when I tuned into the black and white season, I found out that this wasn't true. The narrator notified the audience that Ash was still 10 years old. But I don't get it. If he's been traveling around the world, meeting new people, collecting new Pokemon, seeing new horizons, how has he not aged? Is there a mysterious power that is keeping Ash Ketchum 10 years old after 20 years of Pokemon? There are a few theories that fans have come up with to explain Ash's aging process. Or lack of aging, I guess. The first one is that Ash is in a coma. When Ash is biking Pikachu in the very first episode of the series, he is hit by a thunder attack which puts him into a coma. But I don't really want to go into this theory because Emily debunked it in a previous episode of Cartoon Conspiracy. So if you want, you can go watch that video now or later. Another theory also comes from the first episode. After Ash saves Pikachu, they both look up and they see an unknown Pokemon flying across the sky into a rainbow. We now know from the second generation of Pokemon that this bird is actually the legendary Pokemon Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh is a very mysterious Pokemon. According to one of its Pokemon entries, for those who come upon it, they are granted eternal happiness. Eternal happiness is a moment that makes you feel new and fresh. So since Ash saw Ho-Oh, it is speculated that Ash's eternal happiness is to never grow old. He is first starting out his dream of becoming a Pokemon master and probably wants it to last forever. What better way to wish for this than to always stay young? There's also a theory that comes from Pokemon the first movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back. To stop Mew and Mewtwo from nearly destroying each other, Ash runs out into the middle of the fight and he is hit by their powerful psychic attacks. This turns into stone. When I first saw this moment, I was in shock. And then when Pikachu started bawling, I started bawling. It was very emotional for me. All of the Pokemon in the stadium started to cry over Ash's sacrifice. Their tears then magically bring Ash back to life. The theory is that because Ash was turned to stone and then brought back to life, maybe he is stuck in this 10 year old body or he could just be aging very slowly. The final theory comes from the time-traveling Pokemon, Celebi. In Pokemon Forever, Celebi is dying and Ash takes it and places it into the Lake of Life to help its body heal. But the water has no effect. As everyone begins to give up hope, the voice of the forest brings Celebi from the past and the future to help out their fallen Pokemon. Fans speculate that because Ash was holding Celebi as he started to glow in the water, some of that life energy may have attached to him. This would cause him to gain the life power and to stay young. Overall, we can see that all these theories center around mystical, mysterious powers. Did any of them cause Ash to stay 10 years old? Most of these theories don't have a lot of evidence to support them. For Ho-Oh granting eternal happiness, that wasn't added to its Pokedex entry until Generation 4, so we can't really go off of that. Speculating that Ash holding Celebi in the Lake of Life made him young is a bit of a stretch. Celebi was brought back to life after raising from Ash's arms. The power of the voice of the forest or the water from the Lake of Life don't say anything about affecting someone's age. But I think the stone theory from the first movie is pretty plausible. Mew and Mewtwo are still very mysterious Pokemon. I mean, scientists have been looking at them for years. There's still no explained reason as to why Ash was petrified when he got hit by the attacks. Petrified? That word rings a bell. You're probably thinking of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets with the basilisk petrifying people. But this word also relates to fossilization. Fossils are prehistoric organisms that have been preserved in sediment for a very long time. Basically, rock forms around bones. Science. <laughs> when dinosaurs died, their bodies started a method of fossilization called petrification. This is when tissues in the body start to fade to preserve the bones. Seeing that Ash was petrified at an immensely fast rate, his body could have started to fossilize in this way. His tissues begun to preserve his body. Since he was brought back to life by the Pokemon's tears, this caused his tissues to be stuck in this fossilized state, causing him to be preserved in the casing he had before he turned to stone, thus causing him to stay 10 years old for a long time. But this is a theory, so there is no confirmed truth as to why Ash is still the same age. It could be because the Pokemon Company wants him to be fresh for a new wave of younger viewers to watch the show. So for the theory of why Ash will never grow up, I'm going to give this three official Pokemon League hats 
out of five. Thank you for watching this episode of Cartoon Conspiracy. If you have a theory for us, leave it in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe. See you later, Pokemon trainers.